Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, last week we talked about a couple of our new tools. This week we're going to talk about another one of our new tools that is way cool and a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to go to my custom shapes and I'm going to grab this apple. Now this apple is artwork so I could come down and I could turn it into an outline. I could turn it into an applique. I could play around with it. I could make that applique have smaller thickness. I could come in and just work with it. But it's still just one solid red apple. Well, let me show you a new tool that's going to make playing with this so much easier for us. Undo is our friend, as we all know. Let's go back to our artwork shape. Now, if I select this shape and it's selected, I'm going to come over into my shapes tool. Now, here is my edit path that we're used to. If I want to change the shape of my apple, I can undo as my friend. Let's go back. I've got our slice tool that we've always had, so I'm going to left mouse click on that. And what that's there for is to cut up artwork. So if I wanted to left mouse click, left mouse click, and right mouse click, I could cut my artwork into a couple of pieces. I could turn my leaves green, whatever. But see, I'm still, still not just as accurate as I would like to be because you notice my stem comes down here in this nice little dip. So undo as our friend. Let's go look at our new object slice. This is so cool. I'm gonna left mouse click on it. Now notice you can see all the control points and if I get close to one, I want you to notice it changes color. Well, I'm gonna grab this one right here and left mouse click. I'm gonna to go to the next one, left mouse click, and I'm gonna right mouse click. How cool is this? I took it apart beautifully right where the stem ended. It did a great job. Now I could turn around and say, well, let's come down to our colors. I'm going to come down to my magnifying glass. And I happen to know I like 233. It's a great green. So I'm going to find that. I'm going to left mouse click on it. And now my leaves are green. So that's good. So I could go ahead and put this back down in here and I've got my green leaves. But you know what? The leaf on an apple, it's not green all the way down into the apple. I'm gonna come over to my object slice tool again. Whoops, let me select my leaves. We're gonna select our leaves. We're gonna come back over to our shape tool with our object slice. That's the one with the little horseshoe by it. And I'm gonna left mouse click I'm going to come right over here and left mouse click and right mouse click. Now I have taken the leaves off the stem. So I'm going to take the stem, come down to my search, and I'm going to type in brown. And that's going to take me to the browns. And then I can pick whichever shade I want if I don't know the color number. Now I'm going to make that brown. My little leaves are green. So how cool is this? So now I've got my apples in the colors I would like it in. So I think I'm going to take the stem first and I'm going to turn it into an auto satin. So now I have a little satin stitched stem. I'm going to grab my leaves and I'm going to come over here to applique and I'm going to create an applique but I'm going to make that a blanket stitch. Apply. I'm going to grab, and I, you know what, I don't want to tack down because, of course, I'm going to pre-cut my shapes because I can either print it out on Floriani Applique Wonder, Quilter Select Apple Stick, or I can send it through my digital cutter, and that's what I will do. Then I'm going to grab my red apple. I'm going to turn it into an applique, but I'm going to leave a nice satin stitch around it. Again, I pre-cut my shape so I don't need a tack down. I'm going to apply that. How, whoops, I want this red. So right, um, left mouse click, come here. And that's going to be color two, which is my ending color. 
And you do realize that with our colors here. Let's go up here. Now, if I click on this green, left mouse click, it's asking me, do you want color one, which is the placement line? Color two is my finish color. So if I want to see what it looks like, there's my finish color. Let's look at it in 3D. How cool is this? I've got a nice little satin stitch stem. I've got pretty blanket stitch applique, and I have a nice satin stitch applique. And those leaves are a little small. I think I'm going to change the width of that to about a 2.5. I think that'll look better. So come in here and play. Enjoy your new object slice. If you need to cut up letters, anything you need to cut up, now you can cut it up with the control points that are already on there. And in like the case of this apple, it continued to give me this beautiful curve. Everything nestles and fits so beautifully. So again, we thank DJ for a wonderful new tool. And when we get back next week, we'll look at some more of our new stuff. Have an amazing week. See you soon. Don't forget to check out the Progressive Classroom. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there. Bye-bye.